is what they do is that in, if you've got lead pipes um, the water companies add phosphate to the water to stop the lead leaching off the pipes so if you've got fluoride and you haven't got the phosphate you might end up with lead fluoride in your tap water right okay yeah cool so oh, anyway, bear that in mind people who are getting these pumps fitted or these filters fitted you, you might be doing yourself more damage that's shocking i didn't know i didn't know that yeah, uh, so chlorine is a proper water disinfectant chemical, water treatment chemical. But fluoride, or hexafluorosilicic acid is the full name, is a human treatment chemical. It's nothing to do with water treatment. That's the main difference. Um, and because it's human treatment, it's medicine. Mm. So it converts your drinking water into medicinal liquid. Without our, our consent, and when we say we don't want it, they say, well, I'm sorry, tough, you've got it, it's the law. And we're saying, no, nope, I'm not going to pay for it. Mm. And I don't pay for mine. And we pay for storage, but we don't pay for the so-called drinking water because it's not drinking water. Um, how do, how did you that. get around that? How did you get around that? Because I'm, my good friend Bob says um, he's been to and fro from the water company for quite a while now saying, you know, it's not safe blah 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 um and they even got them to admit that they're a private company therefore there's no contract okay i think we don't worry about that too much it's a case of saying it's medicine no it isn't it's medicine well it can't be it's about to be look you've got you've got the british standard right the british standard admits that it's uh, therefore to increase consumers resistance to dental decay so it's a prophylactic right now in the drinking water directive, which is retained post Brexit, we're told that um, medicinal water is excluded from the provisions and protections of the directive. So therefore, we're not protected by the directive and the water quality standards, which um, um, were established by the directive, don't apply to medicinal water because medicinal water is not part of the directive. It's, it's, so, it's such a neat way of getting around it. Therefore. It's the CEO of water tree, of the water company. I'm not paying for my um, so-called drinking water because it's medicine. It's coming out of my tap as medicine. I do not consent to drinking medicine. I do not consent to pub product substitution, and I do not consent to paying for this this grotty stuff. I do not need mm. because I'm a human being. I have mental capacity, and the the law on mental capacity protects me. I haven't been. Um, I have been uh, certified by two doctors or anything like that. Um, so therefore, you can't do that. Therefore, I'm not paying for it. Oh, okay. And then they keep sending you letters and then it's a sabre rattle and try to take it to court. They never do. Um, and if they did, I'd just counter sue because, I mean, I've got all the law in the world on my side and there's only one law on their side. Mm. And they can do it because it's legal. Now, when you have a law, which is bad law, it's still law. So therefore, you have to challenge it in court. So we haven't had my day in court because no one's taking me to court. Damn it all! I should do that, don't you think? Oh, it would be oh, it would be great just so we've got a, a, a precedent set. You know, it would Very precedent joy. rather. It would be really good just to, for somebody to go through that process and well, say, "I did it." Yeah, we are. Yeah, we work that'd be brilliant. We'll have, 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 have you noticed a correlation between the areas of Britain which are fluoridated with the type of people that live in that area? So like is it the poorer areas where they're fluoridating because maybe they're not valued as much as maybe... No, is it just... It's a, it's a broad stroke. 